America, of course, is this land of explorers uh, from the east all the way across to the west coast. And uh, in that regard, uh, yes, uh, I think there is a spirit here of, of a, a entrepreneur as well as explorer. California, Los Angeles. In the nearby city of Pasadena, we find the California Institute of Technology, better known as Caltech. One of the leading researchers at this university, famed for its scientific output, is Professor H. Jeffrey Kimball. A normal laser works by a set of rules that was discovered uh, f almost 50 years ago. And, and what I've tried to do in my research is go into a no new domain for lasers. And so one of the things we've done in, in my work here at Caltech is to figure out how to make a laser which works with just one atom. N not large numbers, uh, billions and billions of atoms, but just one atom. And photons are the elemental constituents of light. And this laser works with just one atom and just one photon at a time. So it takes a familiar kind of, of, of process, lasing, uh, lasers, that are really very important in our society, and pushes them into a completely uh, new domain. And it's not just that it's this very small laser which works with one atom and one photon, but the, the kind of light it makes is completely different in terms of its quantum statistical character than, than normal lasers. Today's communication technologies, such as those used for the internet, are still based on the same principles as the early telegraph. But today, completely different technologies seem feasible. One of the most exciting experiments is the teleportation of quantum states. Professor Kimball believes this is the way data processing will be handled in tomorrow's quantum computers. So this is an experiment here related to the development of new kinds of physical processes for communication and uh, processing of information, but not in the regular way, not like regular computers and the regular internet. It's for quantum information processing and quantum co communication and the quantum internet. And the particular thing that's inside that vacuum chamber is a ball of about a million atoms, about a millimeter in size, and they're very cold, almost absolutely cold, more than minus 470 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the vacuum chamber on the other side of the room, over here, uh, we, is it almost identical, and we try to store another quantum bit of information. There's one bit over here or one bit over there and you say well where is it and it's actually at both places at the same time and that's called entanglement and that is the most valuable quantum resource for doing things such as quantum teleportation so what we would like to do in future experiments these two systems are now what's called entangled and we can use that entanglement to do quantum protocols such as the quantum teleportation of quantum bits from one place to the other. In our case, it'll be from this place three meters away to the other place. Professor Kimball appreciates the extremely communicative faculty atmosphere at Caltech. The varying abilities and personalities are important to him, but what ultimately counts, as Alexander von Humboldt noted, is that every law of nature that reveals itself to the observer implies a higher, as yet unknown sphere. Nature has her secrets, and we're trying to find out, and there really are answers, not just clever things to say to be engaging. And so I think you will find in science a, a broad spectrum of people, some of whom ha have no personality at all, and yet they're incredible scientists. And, and that's because personality is not the currency of the realm. Intellectual achievement and actually advancing, uh, if you say against nature, but into that domain of exploration, that there, there's a real standard of achievement which is not set by the whims of fashion of society.